Howdy folks, what are components of graphs? That's what we'll be going over in today's Wrath of Math lesson. I already did a lesson on this topic previously. I'll leave a link to that down in the description. So if you want a more slow paced explanation with a few more examples, check out that video. In this one, I'm just going to have another go at explaining the concept, and I'm going to try to be a bit more clear about a particular detail that I noticed several people were a bit confused on based on the comments on that previous video. So we're just going to have another go at explaining the concept. Hopefully it'll be a pretty clear explanation. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen recently that I lost my voice. I don't have it back completely 100% yet, but I'm almost there. So if my voice sounds a little scratchy, that's why. So please excuse that. All right. So what are components of graphs? Well, a connected graph has only one component, but disconnected graphs like this graph G have multiple components. So we define components in order to describe the connected pieces of a graph. A component is a maximal connected subgraph. I'll say that one more time. A component of G is a maximal connected subgraph. And what does that mean? Well, it just means that a component of G is a connected subgraph of G that is not a proper subgraph of any other connected subgraph of G. For example, or rather for a non-example to help clarify that definition, consider this connected subgraph of G that has the vertices V1, V2, and V4, and these edges. Is this, that's this part of G right here, is this a component of G? The answer is no. Although it is a connected subgraph of G, it's not a maximal connected subgraph of G because it is a proper subgraph of some other connected subgraph of G. For example, it's a proper subgraph of this connected subgraph of G that has the vertex V3 and this edge joining V4 and V3. How about this now? Is this a component of G? And no, it's not. Again, although it is a connected subgraph, it's not a maximal connected subgraph because there's a vertex or edge that we could add to this graph from G to get a bigger connected subgraph. We could add this edge here joining V3 and V2. Now, is this, this whole part here, is this a component of G? Yes, it is. It is a maximal connected subgraph of G. It's a connected subgraph and it's maximal because it's not a proper subgraph of any other connected subgraph of G. There are no vertices or edges of G that we could add to this subgraph to get a bigger connected subgraph. All of the other vertices and edges in G are over here. And no matter which of these vertices and edges we add to this subgraph, the resulting subgraph will be disconnected. For example, maybe we add the vertices V5, V7, and the edge that joins them. Okay, now we've got a subgraph with more vertices and edges, but it's no longer connected. And of course, no matter which of these vertices and edges we add, we would get a disconnected subgraph. So that's why this is a maximal connected subgraph of G and thus is a component. So this part of G right here is a component of G. A way to think about what that means is that if we consider any vertex of G not in this component, like the vertex V5, for example, we know there cannot exist a path going from V5 to this component. Because if there was a path from V5 to one of these vertices, then we could include V5 in this subgraph along with that path from V5 to one of the vertices, and that would give us a bigger connected subgraph that this is just part of, and that would contradict the fact that this is a component, a maximal connected subgraph, because we'd be extending it with more edges and vertices while preserving its connectedness. So we know for any vertex that's not in a component, there can't be a path from the vertex to that component that it doesn't belong to. Now, for a graph that we're staring at right here, that's pretty obvious, but it's a useful fact to keep in mind when you're working more abstractly in a proof or something like it. 
because we, we might not know what a graph looks like, but perhaps we know that V5 doesn't belong to the component that contains V1, and that's enough information to conclude that there's no V5, V1 path. Now this over here, of course, is another component of G, and we can use it to look at a couple more non-examples. If we look at the vertex V5, the vertex V7, the edge joining them, and the vertex V8, is this a component of G? Well, we can immediately rule it out. No, it's not, because it's not even connected. So it cannot be a component, because a component is a maximal connected subgraph. So maybe we make it connected by including this edge from V5 to V8. Is this a component? No, still isn't a component because we could extend it while preserving its connectedness. It is a proper subgraph of another connected subgraph of G. We could extend it with this edge and the vertex V6. And now we are looking at this whole piece there. So I'll just erase the orange one because we've just redrawn this. And that is a component of G because there are no other vertices or edges of G we could include to get a bigger connected subgraph. Then the last detail I want to go over, something that confused several people on the last video was something to the effect of how could this be a component of G? How could it be a maximal connected subgraph of G when, for example, we could expand it by adding an edge between V4 and V2 and then we, it would still be connected, so, so how does that work? Well, the problem is if we add this edge from V2 to V4, it's no longer a subgraph of G because this edge doesn't belong to the graph G. When we talk about a component of G, we're concerned with maximal connected subgraphs of G. When you add that edge that wasn't there before, we're no longer talking about a subgraph. So that's why you can't do that. That's why this component as it is, even though it doesn't have all possible edges, it does have all possible edges of G that it could have without losing its connected property. And so that's what a component of a graph is. It's just a maximal connected subgraph. It's a connected subgraph that can't be extended while preserving its connectedness with any other vertices and edges of the graph that's under consideration. So I hope this video helped you understand what components of graphs are. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet.